Hello friends, welcome back to Snippet Code and we are back with another video. In this video, we will talk about how to indicate native Android or iOS code in our Flutter application. So this is our application. You can see here we are going to call our native API for fetching the battery level from our Android or iOS. So here if I click on the get battery level, you can see here we are, we are getting here 38% and here also you can see 38%. So this type of things are very important in our Flutter application. Sometimes there's a code which is not compatible with our Flutter application and then we have to use our native code in our application. For that purpose, we are going to learn in this video how to integrate our native code in our Flutter application. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. Now let's understand the architectural overview of our platform channels and we will understand how the message passes between the client that is our Flutter application and the host that is platform that is native Android or iOS using our platform channels. So this is our Flutter application you can see here and then we have our method channels and those method channels just call our iOS or the Android host. In the Android OS, we will call it as a method channel. And here you can see the activity. That activity call our Flutter view. And then that Flutter view call our Android platform APIs or our any third party APIs for our Android. Same in the case of iOS also, we will use as a Flutter method channel over there. There we have the app delegate in our Swift or Objective C. Then we have our Flutter view controller. And from there, it will call our iOS platform APIs or over any third party APIs for iOS. Then it will return the data to our Flutter application the same way. First we have to call to our Flutter matter channel then it will return the data from there to our Flutter applications. So now let's move to our Flutter application and there we will write our code and then we will understand step by step. So this is our Flutter application and here we are going to create a new page and we will name it as a home underscore page dot dot file and we'll make it as a stateful layer home page here we will write one variable and we will make it as a static constant platform is equal to method channel we will make it here as a method channels and we will name give the name for the that method channel and that name should be same in our native code also and we will put here samples dot flutter dot dev slash battery we can give any name here we are just giving this name you can also change it according to your namespace also next we are going to create one method that will be used to invoke a method on our method channel for fetching the battery detail from our native apis and all before that we have to create one variable here static underscore battery level is equal to and here we will put the default message here unknown battery level and we will make this variable as a string here. Here we will write future void underscore get battery level. We will make this function as async here. Here we will create one variable string battery level. Here we will use the try catch also. And here in the catch we will put here on platform exception catch. Because here we are just calling our native API that is the platform's code and all. For that purpose, we are going to use here platform exception. If there is any issue came from our native code, then we will get to know what the issue is. And we will use this variable here. We will write here fail to get battery level. And here we will put our message, which is coming from our exception e dot message here. And here in the try, we will call here final in because that variable value will be in the integer. So that's why we are using an integer here. It's all depend when we go to our native code there. I will explain you from there. We can send us result in our integer string or any other format we want to do. Here we have final integer result is equal to await platform dot invoke method. And here we will write the method name, which we are going to create in our native code. And here we will put get battery level and here we will return 
battery level is equal to battery level at and here we will put the result here with percentage and from here we will return by putting it set state underscore battery level is equal to battery level so what we did here we have created one function that is get battery level and return type we are making as a void here because we are just setting this variable value inside this function by using set state what we are doing here we have created one variable that is battery level in the try catch we are just calling here final int result is equal to await and we are calling here platform dot invoke method and here we will put the function name which we are going to create in our native code here we are just returning the value in our this variable that is battery level is equal to battery level at result whatever the result is and here we have our own platform exception we are using a catch on that platform exception only so whatever we are getting any issue by calling our native apis that will come in this variable after that we are just setting the state for this variable that is underscore battery level is equal to this battery level and here we will use our material child we are using here a center wizard then we are using child we are using column wizard here we have the children's and here we have the main access alignment we are using here main access alignment dot space evenly here we have that we will create one button so that we can call this function that is get battery level on this on press we will call this function get battery level and here in the child we will show our constant text get battery level this will the name of our button after that our text visit and we will just display our battery level here whatever the message is so this is our flutter code so now what we did here we have just created here a platform here by calling this method channel that means this native code is written in this method channel that is the sample dot flutter dot tap slash battery after that we have created one variable that is battery level and by default we are showing the message as the unknown battery level after that we have just create a small design by putting one button for getting the battery level and showing the level here in the text wizard and here we are just creating one function that is get battery level and here we are just calling platform dot invoke method this is very important so whenever we call this method then only the method will be called from our native code and all after that whatever the result we are getting here we are just appending that in our variable and we are displaying here so now what we have to do we have to go to our android folder and there we have to write our native code over there and here we will go to the android then we have app then we have source folder then we have main folder inside that we have our kotlin folder and here we have main activity dot kt if your project is in a new version then it will be by default in the code line if your project of flutter is in an old version then your main activity will be inside the java folder so now we will create click here in the main activity dot kt so here you will see this is the flutter app activity first of all what we have to do here we have to write here private val channel is equal to and this channel name will be make sure will be the same one that is this one sample dot flutter dot dev slash battery and we will put here after that we have to write the code here so this will be our code i am just copy pasting the code here so that you can understand here i will explain you here so this is the code that is override fung fung is name as a function here in the code line the name of the function configure flutter engine and here we have our parameter that is flutter engine then we are just calling a super dot configure flutter engine here we have the method channel and we have to make sure this channel will be used here and here we have to write our we have to invoke our methods here so those matter which are we are going to consume in our flutter applications before doing that we have to just make one function for our getting the battery level and this is our function here so this is a function the what this function is doing this function name is get battery level and return type is integer and here we are just checking for the version if the sdk version less than more than equal to version code lollipop then we are using this api else we are using this api you don't need to 
learn all these APIs and code because these are easily available everywhere. You have to just understand how we have to call the native code from our Android native to our Flutter application or from our iOS to our Flutter application. So we can make any type of these function and we just need to understand in this video how we can call this function from our native to our Flutter application. So this function only for fetching the battery level. So now we will understand how we have to call this function from our this this area. So what we have to do here, we have to put here if call dot method is equal to and here we have to put the method name and the method name will be this one in our flutter we have write this invoke method and this method name we have to put over there here so here we have to make one variable well battery level is equal to and we have to call this function so what it will do it will call this function and return us the value of the battery here so here we will check if battery level is not equal to minus one that means we have successfully get the battery level from our native api then we will call here result dot success and we have to return this value from here and you will notice here this function return type is integer so that's why we have put here in the integer as a return type from this result and this is kotlin so here you don't need to put any semicolon it will work without semicolon also and here we have to make the else condition also in case we have not received any data from that battery level we will put a result dot error and we will put here message unavailable battery level not available and null here and here we will put one more else condition and we will write here result dot not implemented so what we did here we have just created one function for getting the battery level after that here this is a very important part and here we are just checking if the call dot method is equal to get battery level then we have created one function battery level and we are getting the battery level from this function that is this get battery level and here we are checking if the battery level is not equal to minus one that means result dot success and we are just passing our battery level to our flutter code in the else we are just putting a battery level not available and here in the else condition we are putting not implemented in case we pass any method name which is not in our flutter in this native code then it will re return us result dot not implemented we will this uh, we will test this one also by changing this method name over there and before running the application we have to go to the top and we have to add some of that namespace here I will put the link in the description from where I am just using this sample code from the Flutter website itself. So here all good. So now let's run the application and see is it working or not or are we getting any error. We will run the application here and we will open the console also. And here in the main.dart file we have to link this home page and we will remove this code. We will change here to home page we will save here now you can see here we are getting an unknown battery level this is our default message we are getting here in our flutter application we have added one default method default message here unknown battery level so now we are going to call this function we will click here in the get battery level so now you can see here we are getting a battery level at 36 percent you can see here we are getting a 36 percent let me remove this banner so now you can see here 36% and if I click again you will see here 36%. So now what we will do we will just change this function name here. Here in the invoke method we will change it to get battery level 2 and we will save and we will reload the application. Now we will see what result we are getting over there. Now we will click here get battery level. You will see here we are getting the message that is no implementation found for this method name because we have put the invalid name here because our method name is this one get battery level that's why we are getting the error over there so now we will rename it here again and we click again you will see we are getting 36 percent here so that means we are getting the proper result from our native code so this is how 
you can write your custom code in your nat native code of Android or iOS. And from there, you can just call in our Flutter application. You have to make sure two things over there. First one is our this channel name and second one is our method name. This should be the proper same in our Flutter application or in our native application. Then only it will work. Same way we can do for our iOS also. For doing that, we have to go to our iOS folder. There we have the runner. Inside that we have app delegate.swift. And here I'm just copy pasting the code instead of writing the code here. And here we have to put this code and this function will be used for retrieving our battery level from our native code to our Flutter application. Now we have to call this function inside our this function and for doing that we have to just copy this code and here you will notice one thing that is in our Android we will call it as a method channel but in our iOS we will call it as a Flutter method channels. And here you will see the name, name should be the same that is sample.flutter.dev slash battery. It will be the same this channel name. Then we have our function name that we have to put here. We have to replace this code. And here you will see the method name is get battery level. And from here we are just calling this self.receive battery level. And we are just calling this function over there. In this way, this will call our iOS code. So if we try to run this code, this will not work in our emulator because we required a real device of iOS, then only it will work in our iOS. So let me show you in the emulator first. So here you can see we have our iOS application in the emulator. When we click on this get battery level, it will give fail to get battery level because battery level not available. Because this code will not work in our emulator, we have to make sure we are connected with a real device to make this work. So in this way, you can just integrate your native code with the Flutter application. I hope you understand the concept and I hope you will use it in your future projects and all. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching our video.